All right, everybody, uh, we're going to tie a new fly that I brought out for 2018 and 19 um, called the Mardi Gras. Um, utilizes these 3D beads um, from Hairline Dubbin, and uh, it's just a great overall crayfish pattern. You can use it as a leech pattern as well. Um, lots of different colors in these beads, so you can really alter this to wherever you're fishing and, and however you want to do it. Now we're going to start, this is a Universal Predator uh, size uh, 2 hook with three of the brown 3D beads on. We're going to take some 140 denier Vivas thread and start it on our hook. And this is going to ride hook point up, so we want to get a good amount of weight down here on the bottom as well as um, needing this to jig. So we're going to take some red uh, pupil uh, lead eyes in a large. And we'll go ahead and just tie those on. And then uh, we're actually going to whip finish off. We'll take some of this uh, Solares, uh, the thin. And I'm just going to put a little bit on there. I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to kind of work it around the eyes. I am fishing these down at the bottom so they do have a tendency to get chipped up. Not that this is going to keep them from getting chipped up but it does help protect them a little bit. And then we can go ahead and hit that with the light. Okay. I'm going to move these beads all the way forward and reattach our thread back here in the back. I'm going to take uh, some Whiting Farm Super Boo, and this is in the dyed grizzly uh, orange, and uh, it's a great, great product. We're going to take some of these, and uh, we're looking for some nice wispy ones. And we're looking for about three of them. Okay, so nice and wispy. going to stack those up, take those and I want them to be just about a, a hook shank length. It's really going to be a alteration on a woolly bugger. Some nice tight wraps there. Pull that up. Go ahead and bury that. I'm going to take some uh, rubber legs, and these are crazy tipped root beer and orange crazy legs. I'm going to take uh, four of them. I'm going to find the halfway point here. I'm going to tie them in kind of 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. These are actually going to ride on the bottom side of the fly. And then uh, I want to cut them a little bit into the orange so that we get some of that orange in there. We want most of that brown. 
take some copper flashaboo. And I'm just going to take uh, four pieces. Three pieces. And uh, this is flash to taste, obviously. Um, but we'll put those on one side. Turn them over and put them on the other side. Those are going to be just above the, the rubber legs. We kind of get that all moving together. And just a little bit longer than the rubber legs is where I trim those. Okay, so there's our back half. Um, our hackle in this is going to be uh, Whiting Farms Schloppen, and we just want a nice grizzly orange Schloppen. Um, we want to work this kind of small to, to large. So you want to get a couple pieces mm -hmm. off of this. All right, and I actually like this to go, um, I'm gonna take the feather and I usually like to go a little bit down the feather. Just gonna cut that off at the tip. I'm gonna preen this back and kind of fold it back wet fly style. And about four wraps or so. And then we'll go ahead and whip finish right here. Cut that back off. I'm gonna reattach here. I do want to pull those into um, into the gap there. And what we're doing is we're going to use our thread to create just a little bit of a base in between there to tie in another piece of schloppen. You want to have these these beads fairly secure, otherwise you're Durability kind of comes into play a little bit with um, your thread moving around as the beads move around. So you want to really kind of build up a little bit of a of a base in between there. I'm gonna do the same thing here, just pulling it back as I go. And go ahead and whip finish off. Reattach on the next one. Helps if you don't drop your bobbin. Same thing, I just cinch down in between those beads and then build up a little base of thread there.
and then uh, when that swims this this really just undulates as you go through here but as you can see it makes a real nice crayfish looking bugger with a uh, hook point up it's a great little fly for bass um, and trout alike and uh, it's a great one for you to tie up so tie some up see you on the water